Plenty of people from both sides of the political aisle are closely watching President Trump's next move. Yeah, that includes folks in our state as well. The chair of the Washington State Democratic Party, Tina Padlovsky, is joining us now. Thanks so much for your time. Uh, 75 million people voted for Joe Biden, 71 million for President Trump. The country is clearly divided right now. How are these sides supposed to come together here in Washington state, given the climate we're in at the moment? You know, it's going to take some time and it's going to take a lot of different dialogue to make that happen. You know, decency has been restored to America with the team of Biden-Harris and we take the uh, our lead from Joe Biden. And he's a man who's going to make sure that we talk to every single American, that we work for every single American. Look, we have an incredibly decent and wonderful man at the top of the uh, ticket here in Washington state in Governor Jay Inslee, who just won his historic third term. I think for both President-elect Biden and for Governor Inslee, getting the pandemic under control is job one. So many things stem from that. But we've got a lot of different issues to deal with here in the state. And, uh, you know, decency and calm are back in America, as well as great dialogue. A lot of issues that we have to deal with in the state, but of course across the country, coronavirus is the biggest issue and one of the first things that President-elect Biden will be tackling. Um, what are you looking for, Tina, when it comes to um, this new president taking over and uh, handling COVID-19? Well, science is back. Medical professionals are back. We're actually going to have people in charge of this particular pandemic who understand how to deal with a crisis situation, who understand the medical issues that are involved, who understand everything that needs to happen in terms of producing in America, everything from personal protection equipment to getting the vaccine out, not just to a few, but a lot of folks. So I'm excited about what happens in a Biden transition to make this orderly calm, to get this pandemic under control so that we can begin to open up for our small businesses, for our kids, especially in school, and for so many different Americans to no longer feel at risk because they've got pre-existing conditions. Uh, it's a great time for science and smarts and care for everyone in America. Real quick, I want to play a quick game of what if with you. What if this week Joe Biden comes out and says, Jay Inslee, I want you to be a part of my cabinet. I want you to be on the EPA or something. And that means he leaves Washington state and perhaps Denny Heck is elevated to governor. Have you spoke with both of these men about this? And is Mr. Heck ready for such a role? Well, uh, I have a lot of confidence in Denny Heck, no matter uh, what role he plays here in Washington state. But I think Governor Inslee has been very clear. He's here to stay in Washington state and will continue to do the work here in the state. So uh, yeah, let's see if those what if games end up getting played. But I have a lot of confidence in both Governor Jay Inslee and Lieutenant Governor-elect Denny Heck. Chair of the Democratic Party in Washington, Tina Pudlowski, thanks so much for your time. We should Thank mention. You.